Greetings this Monday morning. We gather here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here. Delighted to pray with you today. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Mary the Virgin. So let us open our hearts to God as we pray. Send your, own, send your light and your truth that they may lead us. Bring us to your holy hill, to your dwelling. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm for today is chosen. It's Psalm 113. Alleluia! Give praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its going down, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and the glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who sits enthroned on high, but stoops to behold the heavens and the earth? He takes up the weak out of the dust and lifts up the poor from the ashes. He sets them with the princes, with the princes of his people. He makes the woman of the childless house to be a joyful mother of children. Our gospel this morning is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and Jesus and his disciples had been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is this to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to Berin the brim. And he said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have been drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cain of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this, he went down to Capernaum with his mother, his brothers, and his disciples, and they remained, remained there for a few days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As was mentioned, today is a day we focus on Mary, uh, the honor paid to Mary, the virgin mother of Jesus, goes back to his earliest days of the church. Indeed, it goes back further, for even before the birth of her son, Mary prophesied, from this forth all generations shall call me blessed. The New Testament records several incidences from the life of the virgin. Her betrothal to Joseph, the annunciation by the angel Gabriel that she was to bear the Messiah, her visitation to Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, the nativity of our Lord, the visits of the shepherds and the magi, the presentation of the infant Jesus in the temple at the age of 40 days, the flight into Egypt, the Passover visit to the temple where Jesus was 12, the wedding at Cana in Galilee, which we just read, and the performance of her son's first miracle at her intercession. The occasion when observers said, how can this man be special? We know his family. An occasion when she came with others to see him while he was preaching. Her presence at the foot of the cross, where Jesus commands her to the care of the beloved disciple John, and her presence with the apostles in the upper room after the ascension, waiting for the promised spirit. 
She is thus seen to be present at most of the chief events of her son's life. Besides Jesus himself, only two humans have mentioned by name in the creeds. One is Pontius Pilate, Roman procurator of Judea from 26 to 36 AD. That Jesus was crucified by order of Pontius Pilate, pins down the date of his death within a few years, and certifies that we are not talking like worshippers of Thomas or Adonis about a personification or symbol of the annual death, the resurrection of the crops. His death is an event in history, something that really happened. The other name is that of Mary. The creeds say that Christ was born of the Virgin Mary. That is to say, they assert on the one hand that he was truly and fully human, born of a woman, and not descended from the skies like an angel. On the other hand, by telling us that his mother was a virgin, they exclude the theory that he was simply an ordinary man who was so virtuous that he eventually, at his baptism, became filled with the Spirit of God. His virgin birth attests to the fact that he was always more than merely human, always whose presence among us was in itself a miracle from the first moment of his earthly existence. In Mary, virgin and mother, God gives up the sign that Jesus is both truly God and truly human. It sometimes happens that someone will report an appearance of the Virgin Mary bearing a message usually encouraging faithfulness in prayer. These are just some of the qualities that we have about this intriguing figure in our Christian history, Mary, the dwelling place of God. So let us pray now for our own needs and those of others. We pray for the poor and the neglected, for those who live alone, we pray for people in all sorts of conditions, all sorts of transitions, all sorts of places in their life where there's chaos and misery. We pray for the, the blessing of Mary in this day, for her gift to us all, for encouraging us in our own faithfulness to God. Almighty God, you've given us grace in this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised that through your beloved Son, that when two or three are gathered in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions before us, granting us in the world this knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, age to come life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. May God's grace be with you this day. Continued faithfulness and continued joy in your journey. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great day.